Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and um, it's late guys, it's it's pretty late. Well, it's late-ish, I think it's gone about 8 o'clock or something and I've been so busy today doing other things, I totally forgot that other things were supposed to be coming. So, I haven't took the address off this because I kind of knew it was from, from me, well I didn't know it was for me because it had Ben's name on it. And I left it there for him, I didn't open it, and he said, it's for you. And I said, oh, Amazon? So I thought maybe he has bought me some stuff for hospital, but then it felt really weird. So he just said, just open it on camera and, and vice versa. So I've not pulled the address off or anything, guys. So I've just, it is, it is Amazon, because Amazon sticker is there. And I'm just going to, um, yeah, open it with you guys. So, apparently he said this is the last thing he bought me. So, as you know, as you know, I got the, um, the boots thing and I've got a revolution thing coming tomorrow. Thing, I say thing, I don't know. Um, but I can see, I can see what this is straight away. And um, there's actually, there's uh, it's actually got hair sticking out of it. Right, here we go. So guys, just have, just go with me because my, I'm not feeling very well tonight at all. I say that all the time, but um, I've got a really bad summer today. I think the nerves are starting to kick in. Ah, so, bag. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough. Right, so. <laughs> so some of you who's followed me from day one yeah, from the very first day I started <laughs> you will know that the very first video I had one of these in my hand I'm sorry guys if you hear Zach he's kind of running around in the front room watching Choo Choo Trains and so <laughs> my husband knows that I wanted this grey lace front wig and obviously i didn't have much luck there <laughs> so by the looks of it he's he's gone on to charisma now i can't remember who it was that i was i went with it wasn't charisma it was another company but hmm i'm intrigued because i was gonna it, oh, it's hard to explain so i was gonna do this for you guys so Maybe I still will. So guys, let's open it. Ah, and I ripped the bloody bag. Careful, Rachel. Right. Oh my God, it's a lace front. Where's all the stuff to it? Oh, right. Okay, guys, so I've got one empty bag. I keep all my wig bags, by the way, guys, because it keeps them, keeps them fresh. So I'm going to keep that there. So guys. It's my grey ombre wig that I wanted. But this one is lace front. Yeah. So, it's been a long time since I've done a wig on my channel. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And since then, things have changed immensely. So, another one. So, with your Charisma wig, you get a, a free wig cap which I ain't going to complain because <coughs> they don't last very long, to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not really into this kind of um, wig, wig cap. I like the black fishnet kind of ones because they're a lot tighter. These seem to slide up and off. Um, so I've got a few of these still unopened in my bag, which is in front of me. So as you can see, I have a few. I think I have some opened and I have some that I've used and so forth and I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I even got self adhesive tape to stick your wig down but they are useless so I don't rate them guys so don't buy them. <coughs> I'm a little bit disorientated tonight guys so you just have to bear with me. So with this comes this charisma card and this kind of tells you what you need to know. I've kept all my cards for Charisma. 
So it says storage the wig. When you're not wearing your wig, store it on a wig head. If it's if it's a light wig, this allows your wig to stay, keep its natural shape. Or you can get a polystyrene head <coughs> like I've got, but I think I may invest in a wig stand for my long wigs. But guys, I've got way too many wigs to put them on stands. Way, way too many wigs. And I understand that putting them on there will keep the shape, but it's it's completely impossible for me to have mine on a wig stand, like completely. I, I need a room on its own. So it says safety usage for the Charisma wig. Guide to avoid itchy scalp. When you wash your wig, you need to make sure you rinse it very thoroughly <coughs> so that no shampoo or other hair styling products are left. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Goddamn cold. No shampoo or other hair styling products are left in the wig, on the wig. On the wig, on the wig. And then it says, if you have sensitive skin, please be aware of using synthetic wig. It might lead to dry, hot and itchy scalp. I don't have my wigs on long enough for that to happen. <coughs> and then it says, keep the wig detangled. So um, it says a wide tooth comb, detangling spray. I think paddle brushes are the best. I've tried a wide tooth comb and it kind of ripped half of my hair out of it. So no. If some sports are being particular snarly, use fingertips, hold section and blah, blah, blah. So guys, it does tell you everything that you need to know on here. It also has an online beauty salon. They are on um, WhatsApp, Instagram and Facebook. It tells you that um, you can heat resistant. I think it's up to 130 degrees. <coughs> Usually it does write it on there, but it's not there this time. And it has the SKU and the length, which I cannot read that. It looks like Ben's writing. So, guys, <coughs> I'm really sorry. My throat is killing me. I've got a very bad cough. It's annoying me. <coughs> I'm just feeling very irritable today, tonight. Woohoo! So, I've been wanting the grey ombre wig. <gasps> For a while, and it's actually got me the wavy one. No, that's that's even better because I wanted the wavy one and not the straight one. Wow, guys, just look, just look at how beautiful that is. So it's ombre, guys. I kind of like ombre, as you probably gathered in most of my wigs. So this is a lace front, guys. Take a look so you can see. Lace front wig. So. It comes to what I'd say is your ear and then to your other side of your ear. You don't keep this on guys, you do cut this off, but it is really important that you measure it on your own head before because some of these may be too big. This looks like a really big cap. You do have two clips at the side guys, which you will tuck into your hairline. And it has these fasteners, I call them bra clips. These are used for tightening the wig cap if it is too big. <coughs> you are supposed to use the hook and eye kind of thing, like so, just to make it smaller, which are very, very fiddly, like that. Or you can be a complete amateur and do it the way I do it which is clip them both together and then it's just as tight. But you are supposed to clip it into the actual wig, guys. And then sometimes you just can't get it off. So, hairline. Check out the hairline, guys. So it has a natural hairline and this hairline will go all the way up to probably your crown. You can have this side flit if you want. Depends where you want it if you don't want a centre part in. I sometimes cut baby hair into mine, guys. <coughs> it's not something you do like rash. You have to take time in doing it. And um, you need a good pair of sharp scissors to do that. You do need to cut your lace off once you have measured it. Don't cut too far into the hairline as well, guys. As you can see where the hairline is stitching. If you go too far in, it'll start to pull out and you're gonna have bald patches. So don't go too far into the lining of the hair like so. I tend to leave an eeny-weeny like quarter of a 
centimeter or something like that i don't cut right to the edge like some may do now guys it has a very very distinct plastic chemical smell and it's very very shiny so to take that shine out of the hair you use a dry shampoo and i've got the paradise one so obviously guys i don't want mine all shiny so just give it oh now that smells divine and then just turn it around the best you can guys on your arm and then just get get your roots and then just don't worry about how much spray you're using it doesn't really matter you can always go out and get another one i only buy dry shampoo for my wigs guys i don't buy it for my own hair you don't agree with my hair already that's smelling a million times better and we do need to brush it we want to see how much hair is going to come out but i just want to make sure that it's not too shiny oh look at that guys i don't know it's going to suit me i have got a blonde wig sometimes i don't know sometimes it suits me sometimes it doesn't but i've got a black wig i've got purple i've got a burgundy i've got pink i've got blue i've got green i've got rainbow colors i've got dark purple i've got red i've got multicolor i've got ombre I've got blonde and now i've got gray and it's beautiful so just a brush guys it should brush quite nicely at first because obviously it's, it's not been worn on your head so it's not very tangly but it does get knotty guys it's always best to hold your wig if you're going to brush it i always hold mine if it's knotty like so and then just give it a right good brush now you do get a little bit of fallout guys it's not like eyeshadow but not that bad Ooh, so guys i really want to do it on camera with you but it's already took 12 minutes as it is so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to go off camera and try and prepare my hair in fact you do want it to see didn't you you did want to see so i have been requested to do this video but it's already at 12 minutes so guys i've had my hair up all day ow so it's feeling rather ouchies you know when you've had your hair up <coughs> and it starts to hurt now i have brought down my got to be spray not my yellow one because that's only if i'm securing the wig for longer than a few hours ah so guys as you can tell i have a lot of hair my hair's quite thick so it, it does take time so i'm going to quickly tell you what you should do rather than me doing it on camera for you because it'll take way too long so i have a water spray and i do have another brush that i use i do have a comb as well and what i do is i section my hair into four guys now bearing in mind my fringe is so nice tonight so i didn't really want to do it so guys what i might do is leave my oh i don't know now you can leave your fringe down actually because it is a lace front let me just see if i can just do this roughly and then we'll do it properly so guys i just wet it a little bit just to make it easy to to go flat and i have just pulled it down so it will be easy for me to do and then guys i'm doing it in four plaits you can do as many plaits as you want you can separate it into six to make it as flat as possible if i was to wear this going out i would take so much time in doing this um and as you know i clip it with one of these until i get round to doing that side now i really do need to put my fringe up and usually i'll spray my fringe and slap that back too but my fringe is looking so nice i really don't i don't want to wet it because then it gets all wavy and stuff I wasn't expecting this guys so i'm way not prepared for a wig coming at eight o'clock at night but i absolutely love it and i'm gonna have to go and thank my lovely husband and give him a kiss um <coughs> this was my 
go to cheer you up because I really know. He, uh, well, I found out the day I was having an operation, I found out I can't have the wig, so I was a little bit, uh, a bit of grizzly. So guys, I've got lots of wig caps. I use um, these clips and I just clip it down. These sometimes don't work that good, guys, and you might need bobby clips, but we're doing it quickly tonight, guys. Do you know what? Let me just grab them. But you can use bobby clips. I do have them as well, guys. I have a massive bag. I have this bag here, which I put all my stuff into my wig. And I have a massive bag of bobby clips. So, obviously, I'm going to go across. My hair is very, very thick. So, this might not work tonight, guys, because my hair is really fluffy. And I usually would have wet my hair. That is just not, it's not playing with my hair. And you can hear Zach having a good old, don't know what he's doing actually. So then you get your bottom and then you split it again into two. And then you plait. I mean, you don't have to plait guys, you can twist. I mean, I probably find that twisting is probably easier and then clip. But I think with plaiting, I know that my hair's secure. So I'm, I'm not going to do it like fully. This clip doesn't seem to be working. So let's get rid of that one. Because it's going to do my head in. Right, my hair doesn't want to play tonight, guys. And then do the last one. So guys, this is just a rough, rough, rough way of doing it. Because... It needs to be a lot flatter than what my hair is. And my hair's way too fluffy to do this. Right at this minute. Right, so that one's secure. So as you can see, it's quite... I've got bits sticking out where I really don't want it sticking out and so forth. And I don't necessarily want my fringe down. But I'm just going to... Get a bobby clip and just secure it at the back there, guys. And here, just move that across a bit, guys, if you can. Ow, it's actually... Oh, well, that, that didn't work, did it? So, guys, if I were you, I'd use some bobby clips because these clips are not that good for securing it. As you can see, it's not what I want. So I'm just going to bobby clip it. So bobby clips are a lot better to use to be honest to secure your hair down because my hair is not playing it doesn't want a wig on tonight it says it really doesn't ow get off i pulled half of my hair out right guys so as long as it's up out of your face and usually it'd be a lot flatter now i have the black netting, as I told you, I don't really like the fleshy colour ones, but I do have the fleshy colour ones, and I've actually got a hole in this, so I'm going to have to get a new one. You can order these um, her mats, her things, her masks, her, oh, what the hell are they called? I'm having a brain fog day, guys. It's when I don't feel very well, my brain don't work either. Caps, wig cap. You can buy these wig caps on eBay, Amazon, anything like that. They're not dear. £1.50 or something like that so guys <clears throat> it's not perfect I've still got a bit of my hair down but it's it's just been washed it's way too fluffy I usually put wigs on when my hair is a bit flatter and a bit greasier if that makes sense and then I have this um, anti-slip non-slip wig kind of headband I do need another one these are not that dear either guys just make sure it's it's at the right one. And then it's Velcro, guys, so it just sticks. But the tighter you do that, the better. It keeps your wig in place. And it's very, very bumpy at the back, guys. I'm not happy with how that's done. If I was going out, I would not be happy with that, and I wouldn't leave it like that. Now, obviously, I haven't cut my wig, but I need to try it on. So I'm just going to put the cap on just for now. And then I'm going to pull. So 
First thing you need to do, guys, is prepare your own hair before you put a wig on. And you see, now I'm measuring it, guys, because this has to go like to your ears, maybe just past your ears like so. <laughs> I look funny. So obviously my hair is popping out. We don't want any hair popping out, guys, so make sure that's fully back. So this is quite long, guys. Usually the wigs are not as long as this, but this is where I can then decide where I want my part in, if I'm going to have it here, like so. And you do know, guys, you've got to custom your wig to blend. Obviously, I'm not going to do it right this minute, although I really do want to get this wig customed and get it on my head, but it's a bit late at night now to be doing it. But I will say one thing, guys, you do need your own fleshy colour um, concealer because here's your hairline. You want your hairline to be as realistic, there's the word, I use that word for ages, as realistic as possible. So you may need, if I can bloody find them because I couldn't find them earlier and I had them on camera, guys. You may need to tweeze, yes, tweeze, a few of your hairs from your centre parting just to make it a little bit more noticeable so you do that guys you have to take time I can't do it all at this minute it's going to take too long so you need to tweeze your hairline so you're giving yourself a little bit more to work on once you have done that you get your concealer and then you'll just go down to where you can see Oh no, I've got it in my bloody hair. So where you can see, do this guys either on your head or on your hand so you can see the roots. And then you've just got to blend it in with your finger. You don't need it all over your hair or all here, just your centre parting. So it's blended into your skin colour. And then when you're happy, you can put baby hairs into your hair. And by doing that, you get your smallest strands here. And as you can see at the minute, they're very, very long. And I want to make baby hair. So I just get my scissors, guys, like this. And then I cut down. Usually on the sharpest part, guys. It's not actually working. These scissors are not as sharp as I thought. So just feather down. And then it just leaves you a little bit of baby hair. And then do the same on the other side. And you can have as much or as little baby hair as you need. Now, I do have baby hair, realistically. So I can kind of figure out where I want baby hair and what I want as baby hair. Don't put too much too thick too soon. So, again, just feather down. And then just give it a brush through with your hair. So guys, what will happen is you'll start getting fine baby hair. And then obviously you've got to take your wig back off. You're happy that it fits. I'm happy that mine fits. Um, and then carry on doing some more baby hair if you want while it's off. I prefer to do it while it's on. And then once you're happy, you have to cut away your lace. Remember, you don't want it too close to the hairline. Just enough so you can put it on yourself and blend it in with your concealer. So do you see what I mean, guys? That's as close as I want to go. I don't want to leave too much of a gap because then you're going to see it. At the same time, I don't want to go too close either. I know it's very daunting at first, guys, when you do this, when you're a first time um, with a wig. But you soon get used to it. <laughs> and then just pull any hairs away, because otherwise the scissors will cut that hair as well. And try not to pull the netting, guys. You must cut it. Do not pull it it will just rip into the material of where your hair and hairline is and voila so that's my netting gone 
obviously I've not done all my baby hair and I've not done my concealer but now I can get it on at least like so and where you've got your any bits that's sticking out and you're not happy so now we're measuring it down here guys as you can see now that comes to where my ear low top of my ear and same for this side like so now here guys is where you'd probably um put your got to be spray on here or on your skin or pull your cap further down or your band for it to stick on there or you can bobby clip it guys if it's only for a short wear now i have slightly off center parting like so and you've probably seen when i've worn my blue one not my blue one my um burgundy one so guys obviously i've got more to do to this wig I will have to do the rootage, which I'll sit and take my time with. It's not something you rush. And I'm going to do some more baby hair going all the way down here. And then when you're happy about that, guys, you can put your clip in, out. You have to really dig it in, guys, to make sure it goes into your hair. That secures it. Once you've got your clips in and you're happy it's secure, then tighten it underneath with your tightening clips, which I did show you. You can either put it into the... The wig which is hard to do from the back here guys which is why I grab both of the bands and I put it in together it's kind of cheating in a way but nobody's gonna look underneath my hair and check so and it just makes that wig more secure on your head guys it gives you a little bit more confidence in wearing it because it is daunting when you first start wearing wigs so guys now I'm halfway to customising my wig. It, some people think their wig's too long and they'll cut it down. I won't, guys. I will keep it this length. But I will do the rootage and I'll do some baby hair. And then next time I wear it, I will show you fully how, it, how it's done. I will put some more spray on it just to relax it. What I will do with this now, guys, is I will put it on one of my custom heads rather than on my own. If you have got one of them, you can do it on there. Don't forget you need concealer, tweezers to make your um, <coughs> sense of parting or off sense of parting, whichever you're going to have, as natural to your skin tone as possible. Um, you can pluck as much as you like. I tend to not pluck too much. I don't like a wide hairline. I'll probably pluck a few and then get this on and then that's done. Don't forget you need um, your caps. The tighter the better, guys. That's why I have the black net. But if you are going to get something like this, try and mix it to your own skin tone. The bands, if you want the links for that, I will find you the band. They stop the wig from moving. As you can see, it's quite solid on my head. And I've not even sprayed it yet, guys. You need some got to be spray or got to be glue or it's got to be gel. <coughs> and you need a tin of dry hairspray just to give it a spray. And a very good solid paddle brush with all that said guys that is fine you need bobby clips as well guys like i said i don't always glue mine i may just get a bobby clip and then just get that bit that flaps down and then secure it up but you can see so i probably would still spray that down but once you've sprayed it guys and it's stuck you can never tell and you can always get your concealer and go around the hairline Jobs are good one. So there you go, guys. That's a quick tutorial. I will customise this wig and show you what it looks like completely. But I think it's lovely. Guys, pop a comment on, tell me what you think. Do I suit it at the minute? I'm not really thinking I'm suiting it. But I need to customise it. Maybe with a, a beanie on it, it'd look really nice. But it feels lovely. It is really, really nice. Um, if you want the link for this wig, Pop a comment on below and I'll ask my husband to send it and then I will pop that on for you. All right, guys, I've took up 30 minutes of your time. So this is the Charisma Grey Ombre Wavy Wig. And I think it's one of the long ones. But I, I yeah, I can get used to it. It's just take me a little while to get used to it. And I've got grey glasses, guys. So maybe the grey glasses actually suit it better. 
but I will play with this guys I will do it so my hair see where I can tie it up and so forth so yeah pop your comments on guys tell me what you think and um, if you're unsure about how I've talked you through that step message me and I will um, help you get through that and um, yeah that's it for now guys I've got to go because my throat is killing me I've not had anything to eat I've got to get the little man to bed and I've got to get this video rendered and edited so it might be on later on tonight all right guys take care of yourself and I'll see you tomorrow Revolution and Killstar! It, it. Bye for now.